Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to access Imgur in the UK. Um, I'll do a quick guide of why you can't access it and how you can bypass the restrictions if you happen to be in the UK. Uh, now, why is Imgur blocked in the UK? Well, it happened September the 20th, 30th, pardon me. Uh, Imgur has blocked access for all UK users, uh, preventing them from logging in, viewing content, or even uploading images. Uh, it's it's quite a change. It's basically all to do with the UK's new online safety bill, and the Information Commissioner's Office, the ICO, launched uh, an investigation to Imgur, hand, Imgur's handling of um, children's data and the age verification practices and they found they weren't too great. Um, they were threatened, but not actually fined or anything like that. Uh, the images parent company, Media Lab AI, was facing a possible fine um, because it wasn't complying with uh, the stringent UK data protection laws and the safeguarding requirements. Remember, um, Imgur is, a, is, is kind of like a... Uh, photo sharing, media sharing uh, platform and the problem with sites like this is it, they're hard to control what people um, upload there which is pro possibly why Imgur are having these problems and and they've made a commercial decision basically they said oh, there are lots of fines involved um, if you break uh, restrictions in the Online Safety Act with age verification, there's this costs involved as well, and they decided it wasn't worth it. So it wasn't the government banning them, uh, but they've kind of forced them into a corner, you might argue. Uh, what does it mean for UK users? Well, I'm going to show you quickly. This is what happens now if you try to access the Imager site. Just refresh that. Uh, you get content not available. Um, you can go in and you can delete your data and you can request a copy of your data. So if you've if you've missed the the ban, there wasn't much of a warning. Uh, you can go into the st and request a copy of your images. If you've lost some images, you only had copies there. Some people had big photo albums on there. I remember Imager when it started. People just use it as a um, a photo album. I'm not so sure they do as much now, but that's where you're at. You just can't access it. Looks up your IP address. I will show you how to get past that shortly. But um, just to just to remember, um, it's going to cause all sorts of disruptions as well. Image images embedded on third party and forums and social media. That witty forum post where you posted that imager uh, image on uh, will now be blocked if you're accessing from the UK, which is poor if it's in a UK site. That you'll get broken image links all over the um, websites where, which rely on imager hosting, and it, it was quite popular. Uh, and UK users obviously can't create new accounts or even access the site. Um, there, there are data protection rights protected, so you can go and download your data. I don't know how long that will last. And you can delete your account if you don't want it sitting there, sort of orphaned. And it's probably a good idea to do that. Let me just show you how you can access it. As I say, you get blocked. This is just based on your IP addresses. Now, you can use something called a VPN, which is a virtual private network. If you want a recommendation for one, there's a cheap and very powerful, probably the world's biggest VPN service, NordVPN. Discount link in the um, description below if you want the best deal. This is the Chrome extension for um, NordVPN. So it, it's kind of it's free. It's just the, the extension that just works in your browser. Normally, a VPN will um, affect the whole computer. But if you just want it to affect a particular browser, which we do here, it's easier to use this. So it sits in my taskbar there. And if I want to connect to a different country, I can just route my connection to a French VPN server. And this will look like I'm in France. And the French haven't banned um, Imgur. So if I reload the page, it will now look at my um IP address sync, it's French, and then I'll be able to sign in and log in. As far as I know, there's no block in any other way, so nobody's account is is registered as a UK account. So as long as you've got an account, this will work. You'll be able to sign in uh, as long as your IP address isn't based in the UK, and that's all there is to it. So just to summarise, um, Im Imager has restricted UK access. There's, there's 
different options you've got. The first and easiest is use a VPN service, but of course there's a, there's a cost for that. It's not an awful lot. It's a couple of euros, a couple of pounds a month for NordVPN. Some are more expensive, but I would think from what I've seen, most VPNs will work. Remember, don't connect to a UK server. Just need a different country. Um, pick any location anywhere, the US or the EU. If you're in the UK, it's best to pick a country nearer you because it'll be quicker, so you won't have the lag. Um, if you want to access archive content, you can, as I say, go and download it all, request a download. I'm not sure how long that takes to come through, but you'll just probably get a zip file with all your images and then request to delete it. I would delete If you're not going to use the um, archive, I'd delete your images. Uh, you can access from the Wayback Machine or cached version of uh, if you've posted them on forums you can get cached versions without needing to go direct to the platform um, that's probably if you're just looking for something very specific you know a specific image you want to save uh, there's lots of um, alternatives to uh, Imager um, Image BB, uh, Post Images, Flickr, Instagram's kind of similar as well and at the moment, they're all got few full UK accessibility. Whether this will change with the Online Safety Act, I don't know. It's putting a big burden of fines and costs onto sites. They may not be that bothered about the UK markets. I don't know. I keep a close um, eye on the developments on, on sites like this. Subscribe to our channel, by all means. If Imager do change this block, it's always possible uh, that the government back down or... Um, relax the restrictions and they may decide to come back so who knows um this thing is changing um i think there's a big review of the online safety act in january so maybe something will change there okay well thanks for watching so that's basically bye bye imager or or get yourself a new vpn thanks for watching bye for now